10.6 uh, might seem like we're jumping pretty far, and I guess we did, right? We went from 10.1 to 10.6. Um, so we're going to do volumes of prisms and cylinders. So go ahead, watch that video. Um, I linked it for you on Schoology. And now let's find the volume of these rectangular prisms. So in order to do that, we want to find the length, the width, and the height of these rectangular prisms. So we should have a height, um, or we should find our dimensions. So one, two, three, four, five. I see this block is five blocks wide, two blocks tall, and three blocks height, um, or depth to it. So to find then the volume, we just multiply all three of those things. Volume equals five times three times two, which would then mean our volume is gonna be 30. And we do always label volume as units cubed. Okay, go ahead and try the next three on your own. Come back and you'll see the answers on the video. All right, so there are answers. Um, Remember, anytime you see some of these, come up with some sort of strategy. Um, so you'll see this one's pretty straightforward, just like the other one. Um, but this one gets a little bit more complicated, right? We pretty much have three rectangular prisms sitting on top of each other, or these are actually cubes as well. So my strategy is going to be I'm going to do the volume of the top, the volume of the middle, the volume of the bottom, and then add those numbers together. So the top is one by one by one for volume of one. The bottom is two times two times two for volume of eight, eight cubes. And then this bottom one here, three times three times three, which is 27. And then you add one plus eight plus 27 to get 36 total. Um, same thing on this next one, probably gonna come up with some sort of strategy. Um, typically people go across and count the volume. That's what I did. Um, but it's very common also for people to go up and down and count the volume that way. So we'll start at the bottom here. This is a five by four by one high. So that's gonna be 20. 3 times 4, 12. 2 times 4, 8. And then 1 times 4 times 1 uh, is going to be 4. Add up all those numbers, get 44. Um, and what we're really doing here is we're doing our formula, which is going to be volume equals capital B times H. Um, and the capital B here is very important. That stands for uh, base area. And the H stands for height of solid. All right, so that's the height of our solid. So if I go back to, I don't know, this first problem here, right here, the base, what's this sitting on, right? This is a rectangle. So what's the area of this rectangle that's on the bottom of this prism? So the area of that rectangle, you could say is five times three, right? It would be 15 area of rectangle length times width. So 15 here. And then what's the height of the prism? How tall is it? Well, it's two bricks high. So for that problem, you could say volume is equal to 15 times two, which gives you your 30, which was exactly the answer that we got right there. So anytime we're doing these prisms and cylinders, which once again, means that there's going to be two bases for it, um, then we're going to do this uh, base area of the base times height of the solid formula. All right, so let's do the first shape here. Uh, first of all, think about what that would be called. So that is a triangular prism. We know it's a prism because it's got both bases there. So I wanna find the volume of the base and I wanna find the height of the prism. Um, so remember, if this triangle is our base, then what's going to be the height of it, right? How tall is that prism? And that answer is going to be 10 centimeters. Um, so think of a, my best example of this is a slinky. Um, maybe I'll attach a video for that, right? The slinky, depending on how tall that slinky is, will depend on the height. So it could be very compact or it could be very tall if you're holding it at about head height and it's just slinked down. So then we need to find the volume, um, sorry, the base area, which is our capital B. Um, and in order to find the area of a triangle, it's just base times height divided by two. So that will be three times six divided by two. 
Notice here that the h in the height of the solid is different than the height in base times height divided by 2. So the height of the base is different than the height of the entire solid, the three-dimensional shape that we're talking about. So 3 times 6 divided by 2, 18 divided by 2, so we have 9 centimeters is our area of that triangle, um, or 9 centimeters is the area of the base of the prism. So then once I have those two numbers, you just do volume equals base times height, volume equals 9 times 10, so my volume is going to equal 90 centimeters cubed. And remember with volume, it's always going to be cubed for our label. The cylinder is going to be very similar. So we're just going to find our area of the base, find our height. So area of the base here, it's a circle. So we're going to do pi r squared. Um, actually, I'll change that to 3.4, 3.14 times my radius squared. Uh, notice radius here is 5. If the diameter is 10, then the radius is half of that. Um, when I put that in my calculator and solve that, you get 78.5 uh, units squared. Units cubed, no units squared. Since that is just the base area so far, it's unit squared. All right, the height of this cylinder, so how tall is it? Once again, think of that slinky, is going to be four units. So then my volume for this will be equal to 78.5 times four. And then we can get a total volume of 314 units cubed for B. Uh, go ahead and make sure you have that answer down. Pause the video if you need to. I'm going to move on to C and erase that. All right, C, find the height of a rectangular prism with length 4 centimeters, width 7 centimeters, and volume 308 centimeters cubed. All right, so this one's a little bit different. You're given the volume and you're trying to find that H, the height of the solid. Um, so we do need to calculate our B. So our B is gonna be the area of the rectangle. And to do that, you're gonna do that length times width. So four times seven to get an answer of 28. So we know what our area of the base is. We know what our volume is. Now we have to find our H. So this one's actually not too bad. We just got to plug in what we know. So volume is 308. So 308 equals area of our base is 28. And then H is what we're trying to solve for. And so if we can get here, it's just a one-step problem. Divide by 28. Divide by 28. When we do that, we get 11 equals our height. Our label here is centimeters. All right, so uh, the back page of the notes or the next page, depending on what, how you're looking at them, uh, is just your practice. So finding the volume of all these different prisms. Um, there's six of them here. For right now, we can skip this. Um, I think we are skipping this uh, effective change for this unit. But uh, to go ahead and do the six, if we come back to this, uh, we'll come back to it. So don't cross it out yet, but uh, don't necessarily need to worry about it either. So go ahead and try those six practice problems. Uh, the answers will be on Schoology and then you can uh, do the LT check.